start. Now we are trying to find a very interesting evidence to show how this lake at uh, the Ducks Scouts entrance was formed. And we see a very, very interesting specimen here. These are all sandstone. And uh, here also we find sandstone. Here also we find sandstone. This is purple colored. So, almost in the lower part of this thick deposit, we are finding evidences of sandstone. And uh, this is full of it. These are small pebbles. But if we see, these are all brought from the Tethyan Himalayan side across Indus and uh, in the past this sediments might have crossed Indus and uh, reached here at this level this but these are found almost at the top of this Playland. We have a very good clay band here, and uh, above this clay band, we find this silty sand. This may have been deposited due to alien deposit. So, we have a clay sequence which is a collection environment, and then uh, we have some alien deposit, and above that. This is, this is the flooding here. These are huge chunks of uh, sandstones we are finding here. About that is almost denied. So maybe later on we have to measure this and see how, how actually the impact of the macro sequence is here. Here again. We are finding a very very interesting sequence. So here we have a clay bed. This is clay bed. Now this is sand. Aeolian deposit. Again, this is clay bed. So maybe this is about uh, one and a half feet. This is one and a half feet. This is maybe one feet. All laminated clay bands, and we have. Alterations, very good uh, color changes as we had seen in Spituk. So here also we are seeing uh, alterations of uh, laminated clays and very colorful. Among this also we are finding say about uh, two and a half feet thick clay band, and again above that. We have some flooding activity and here we have some dominance of uh, boulders from greenite but uh, we see a lot of siltstone also this is all derived from the kitchen so this again above that we have a clay band and then again some medium deposit and uh, above that a possibly for us or not possibly for us but uh, Again, a uh, siltstone band dominance. So, very interesting uh, story coming up here in this section, and uh, we see how things are changing shape in the top portion of the. I think we have to measure and see how much the influx of uh, the Tethyan Himalayan sequence we can get but uh, we see the top portion highly the top portion of this lake highly disturbed and a lot of boulders of granite and the sand are seen here so here the dominance again increases of the Sandstone bed, and as we move further ahead, 
we see the thickness of the clay is increasing and uh, this thickness of the clay and, and the colorful these are all laminated clays and uh, i think if we go and see this section further ahead we will see a beautiful lacustrine deposit which was very much prevalent in the past reconstructing the entire uh, events which led to the formation of lake is again a matter of study and uh, we need more evidences to actually establish how this lake was formed and uh, how the fiang nala actually plung fiang deposits fiang nala deposits and this deposit where we are standing a very very massive event flooding event we have witnessed here so maybe next time when we study and try to measure the thickness of these sections we will be able to do justice to this section and reconstruct the environment but we are very much sure that the theory proposed by earlier workers that pyang nala was responsible for this uh, this blockade of indus and this blockade of indus led to formation of a 40 km lake is totally not established we don't find any evidence to support that theory anywhere not even in pyang neither in spituk nor in che and other sections which we have studied so this i am in very much uh, positive that uh, the city of lakes if we call le city of lakes thousand of years ago it will not be an exaggeration and we will be doing full justice if we can uh, establish all these lakes to its full glory in the past by substantiating it with lot of evidence which we will get in the field thank you